Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube on their channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. Do you guys believe in silver linings? I do. How to stay positive during the coronavirus. These anxious and unusual times bring unforeseen difficulties into our lives, but the best human nature can rise to the challenge. This video is designed to offer practical advice, provide some entertainment, foster a sense of social cohesion, and remind people of the good in the world during these strange and isolating times. With all tragic things that have happening in the world as a result of the coronavirus, you might seem like an unusual time to talk about being positive, but we have to stay positive. Yet staying positive is a core ingredient in the recipe of successful coping in the crisis. Now, more, e more than ever is the time for us to be proactive about creating small moments of happiness in our days. Given the findings in psychological research that positive emotions help us undo the negative effects of the daily stress that we all face in life. I'll come to the research in a minute, but first, there are a few really practical things you can do to foster positive emotions in your life, in our life. I want you to savor the small moments. Even during lockdown, you still have many small moments to savor. The smell of coffee, the feel of warm shower on your back, and so on. When you stop to take these moments rather than let them rush by your automatic pilot, you are giving your brain a chance to process the pleasure, which boosts your serotonin, the feel-good uh, neurotransmitter that helps elevate your mood and make you feel calm in life. How about strengthening your connections? For those of us in family lockdown, now is the opportunity to spend quality time with our loved ones. Take the time to hug your kids, your partner, look them in the eyes, have long conversations with them. All of these gestures promote closeness and also boost your oxytocin, which is a hormone that bonds people and also has a common effect on your body. When your oxytocin uh, levels spike, they tell your body to switch off cortisol, the stress hormone. Look for the good in others. And that is so easy to do. These types of crises can bring out both the worst and the best in human nature. It's only normal. This week, there were two YouTube clips that went viral in Australia about toilet paper. One of them was uh, one, of one of three grown women fighting in Woolworths over a packet of toilet paper. The other was two young children dragging a large cart of toilet paper behind them and stopping at the homes of elderly people in the neighborhood to give them a roll each. I like to think that the best in human nature is rising to the coronavirus challenge. There are people donating money to scientists to find cure for the coronavirus as we speak. Doctors and medical staff are working overtime to help sick patients. Neighborhoods are putting uh, together care packages for people who are sleeping rough. People are posting positive messages on social media friends from across the globe, throughout the world, reaching out to each other. When we tune into these positive and pro-social aspects of a crisis, we are united in hope. By tuning into these silver linings I just talked about, you can potentially change your brain chemistry and build up your energy stores to help you cope with other aspects of your day that have been made more difficult as we uh, have been going through this crisis. Taking charge of our mental health and capturing the small amounts or the small moments will help us uh, go further into the unknown, too. We can force the positive emotions that flow on effects are well-researched and well-documented. In fact, positive emotions are a key resource for us during the coronavirus crisis because they can do a number of things. They can increase your resilience. Research has shown that when we experience positive emotions on the back of a stressful event, we bounce back more quickly and have faster cardiovascular recovery time. 
Our heart rate lowers and our blood pressure stabilizes more quickly when we are able to be positive. Friends, increase your immunity. A study where people were deliberately infected with uh, influenza virus and uh, rhinovirus found that those people who had more positive emotions were more likely to fight off the symptoms. People low on positive emotions were 2.9 times more likely to contract a respiratory illness in that particular study. Make you think more clearly is another way. The way we feel influences the way we think. Positive emotions boost our problem-solving abilities as well as our judgment, decision-making, cognitive flexibility, and creativity. Staying positive will help you, uh, you and your kids to be better at solving all the little problems that are being thrown your way, especially right now, such as figuring out new technology platforms for working and schooling from home. Every cl dark cloud has a silver lining, and this is your chance to thicken that lining and take charge of your mental health so that you can come out of this, come out of this so much stronger. And with the help of God, you will be guided and directed towards the silver lining. Make, uh, can you call me at 844-405-HELP? You can um, uh, uh, talk about how we can help each other throughout these crises. May God bless each and every one of you. Remember, a simple smile to a stranger can change that stranger's day and can help you in your daily life. And always remember that God truly loves you. All you need to do is to reach out to him. So please pray often and pray hard.